Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It actually is Saturday today. <laughs> it's Saturday, June 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern time in Chesapeake, Virginia. And it is hot, hot, hot today. Ugh, the summer is here. Ugh, it's so hot. It was almost 90 degrees out. Oh my gosh, it was so hot today. So, of course, I had to work in the yard and mow the grass, and it was so hot. <laughs> We've had rain, rain, rain for like all week, and so the grass really, really, really needed to be mowed today. And um, I had about 800 other things I needed to do, but that was at the top of the list. So I went out and mowed, and it was, ugh, just so hot. <laughs> but the grass looks good, but ugh. I'm just like not ready for this heat. It was so nice. You know, May was just so gorgeous. And this is like really the first week of just super hot weather that we've had. But uh, so we're going to do some winter cards tonight. <laughs> cool everybody off. So <laughs> um, we did the other day these three cards. So we had um, Christmas cards actually using the same paper. So this is the new paper that's gonna be available in just a couple weeks. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you can already get it. Um, if you're not a demonstrator and you're a customer, you can order it July 6th. So um, I was thinking it was the first, but then all of a sudden I was thinking, maybe I saw something about the sixth and then somebody else said, yeah, it is the sixth. So, um, so these were the cards that we did the other night with the fun fold. So if you missed that video, go back and check that one. So they were these three cards. So we're using, um, well, we're using this piece tonight, but we're using a couple of different sheets. So if you haven't seen that paper, it's really pretty. So um, I've used a lot of sheets of it now. So this is one sheet and it's got a bunch of, it's like all forest and, um, you know, scenery uh, pieces but it's called One Horse Open Sleigh, and it is online only. We're using this one tonight, and it's just really pretty. And so yesterday, um, oh, I haven't said hello to everybody. I'll do that in a second. Yesterday, I got together with my girlfriends and um, my upline, and we did some stamping, and everybody brought a shoebox swap. And my friend Michelle Burkett brought a card that I'm gonna show you in one second after I show you all these pieces. So this is all the card, the um, pieces in there. And then on the back, it's just regular like design. So just that kind of stuff, just plain old stuff. So that's the paper. So this was Michelle's card yesterday. And, um, oops. Oh no, that's, I thought I bent it. So, um, you know, we all brought a card to share. And when she did this card, I was like, oh, I've got an idea for a video for tomorrow night because I hadn't even thought of what I was gonna do tonight. And when she showed this one, I was like, oh, I could take this paper and use the grassy grove um, to do my video for tonight. So she used the country, what is that called? Countryside Home or something like that. I can never remember the name of this one. I think it's Countryside Home or Blessings or something like that. Anybody remember the name of this one? I can never remember all the papers. <laughs> you guys know I have <laughs> the memory of a <laughs> peanut. <laughs> I have too many things to remember and, and the designer paper is just not one of them. <laughs> I know it's countryside something. Um, anyway, she did this card and I was like, man, that's a really easy card and I could do that for my video. So I just picked three pieces and did different colors to go on top that coordinated with it. And so basically just copied her card pretty much exactly. Well, not exactly, but you know, just changed the paper out. So, um, so this was, and then she stamped the inside. I didn't really stamp the inside. I used just piece, scraps of paper for the inside. So that was my friend, Michelle Burkett. And um, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator too. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, so I can't give you her, um, channel or anything but that's where I got the idea from so I just picked three of the sheets and I'm going to show you we're going to make all three cards tonight because they're so easy 
they're literally like five minutes a card. So I figured if we did one, we'd be done. Oh, it's Countryside Inn. Why was I thinking it was Countryside Blessings or something? Maybe that's a stamp set. Uh, mm, I don't know why I was thinking it was Blessings. Oh, you know what? I have it sitting right here. Countryside Inn. It's right on the piece of paper next to me. <laughs> Man. Okay, let me say hello to everybody. Let me scroll all the way back. Hey, Karen. Hey, Julie. Hey, Diana. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Mary. Hey, Beth. Vicky says, where's mom? Am I the mom? I don't know. Hey, Spice Girl. Date night. Love those Saturdays when we meet up and have fun. Miss Chishimaritz. Are you feeling better today, girl? I hope so. Hey, Lynn. Um... Let me see, Patricia, hey Melanie, did you get your card in the mail yet? Um, hopefully everybody got their kits from last time. I sent them all out like, um, let's see, when did I send them out? I think I sent them like Tuesday and Wednesday of last, oh, you know what? I forgot to send the directions though. So I will do that. Mm. Maybe right after the video, if I remember. Hey, Diane. Hey, Annie. Hey, Joan. Hey, Robin. Hey, Ida. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Therese. Hey, Tony. Hey, Pamela. I don't see any Debbie's on here. Oh, there's Elisa. Hey, Lorraine. Uh, just Debbie Spicer? She's the only one. Oh, there's the Deborah. There's another one. Um, let's see. Hi, Bryce saying hey. Let's see. Oh, Denise. Hey, Denise. Had rain off and on. Hey, Ina. Uh, let's see. Ton of that country whatever paper. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Countryside Inn. That's what it is. Yeah, don't forget it's still on sale. So if you haven't gotten... Oh, actually, you know what? It's... it's it's sold out right now, so you can't even get it. Because I tried to get it the other day when it was free shipping day, and it was sold out. So that paper is not available right now. Told me I'm on vacation. Ah. Oh, you got a card. Oh, I mailed it to Wisconsin. Mel, I did mail it because you gave me your address in Wisconsin. I told you, I, I um, sent it to your... Um, your vacation place. So you should get it there. Um, okay. I think I caught up on all the hellos. All right, so we're using the die from Grassy Grove. So this is the Grassy Grove stamp set. We're just using the words from here. So instead of making these Christmas cards, because some of you guys said, I can't think about Christmas, it's too early. It's not even July for Christmas in July. So I made these more of like, um, you know, not sympathy, but like, you know, caring cards, like to send to somebody who is going through some hard times or not feeling good or those kind of things. Because I thought they were very like peaceful and serene and, you know, just real nice cards. So um, you could use them for anything, but uh, I thought that would be good. So they're not Christmas. If you want to use them for Christmas, you could change the, um, the words on them to whatever you want to. So, um, that would be good. There is a Debbie shortage today. I know. I think I've only seen three. That's crazy. Bought some napkins. Oh, somebody's going to do some napkin cards. That's good. All right. So, use this die. And you know what? I At first, when I put this die on the paper, I was thinking, I put it on the paper like this. And I said, oh, you know what? I bet you could get two of these out of sheet of paper but you know what it's like when you punch out the piece it is like you need about three and a quarter inches so it's just a sliver too big to get two of these out of um you know two pieces from one sheet of paper so you have to cut your paper just a little bit bigger so if I, I cut one at three inches and it was just a little bit too small. You could see like about just a teeny weeny bit of the holes through the holes. So 
And I used the little deer, which I need to put back in the container so it doesn't get lost. So that's all you need for the dies and the words. And these cards are just so easy, it's crazy. You're gonna be like, wow. I could whip out these in like no time. The hardest part is just figuring out where you wanna cut it. So what I did, let me grab one that I didn't cut yet. Um, so let me show you how I did it. Well, this one was an easy one. So let me show you a tip too. So let's, how many of you guys, when you have these intricate kind of dies, use dryer sheets or wax paper to cut. So I think it's easier if any of you guys use dryer sheets, um, it makes it so much easier to pop these out. So if you put a dryer sheet, this is actually a dryer sheet cut in half, you put it underneath your paper, then you put the die on top, and then you run it through the machine, and then when you go to peel it, the pieces all stick to the dryer sheet and everything pops out. And then you don't have all those pieces like everywhere. You know, they just stick on the dryer sheet. So you don't, you, they don't really fall off and make a mess everywhere. And they pop right out. So you don't have to poke them out with your pokey tool. You might have one or two that um, don't come out, but um, it just makes it so much easier. So what I did was I just popped one out and then you just kind of place it on your piece of paper wherever you want and you kind of figure out like okay where do I want this to go on my piece of paper so like let me pick one let's say you wanted to do this one all right so say you want your deer right there in the center so what I did was I just put a little mark where I wanted to cut it and I knew I need to cut it a little bit smaller than this piece which this is four by five and a quarter so I cut it a quarter inch smaller either way so instead of four by five and a quarter, I cut it um, three and three quarters by um, five inches. So I just cut it a little bit down. So I marked the edge of where I wanted it to go and then I cut it a little sliver inside of those marks. So that's how I did that. So just kind of put it wherever you want, put a little mark on the edges where you want to cut it and then just, or where you want the, the outside edge to be and then just cut you'll be doing like an eighth of an inch inside that. Or you can just cut it to that exact measurement and then trim it a little bit. Um, or, you, I mean, you could actually cut it exactly the same measurement, it doesn't really matter. I just cut mine down just a little bit though. So it wasn't like sticking out of the edge. But, so that's actually the hardest part of the whole thing is just cutting that piece down so that your focal point is like right in the center of here. So, all right, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with the lightest one first, which is this one. Okay, this DSP did not say Christmas for me. Happy to see you using it for something different. Oh, I thought it was Christmassy. I mean, I think it's winter, so you can use it for anything, like either Christmas. Um, the name of it is One Horse Open Sleigh. Um, and it's, yeah, it's online only, so it's not gonna be in a mini catalog or anything. Yeah, the dryer sheet is a great tip. So anytime you have any kind of intricate um, design, and you can just get them at the Dollar Tree, and you can get two, well, depending on what size your die is, I mean, you can just use a whole sheet and put them all on that the dryer sheet. Um, wax paper also works really well. But the dryer sheet is more sticky, so, you know, it'll stick to that dryer sheet. All right, so here's the first one. So we've got a piece of boho blue, five and a um, half by eight and a half. Oh, you know what I forgot, too? I realized this. Um, somebody emailed me after the video last time. I gave you guys the wrong measurements for that last card. So I actually... <laughs> I said it right, like, in part of the video, but I said it wrong in part of the video, too. So this card, the cards that I did on the last video, um, this piece right here is one and a quarter inches uh, across, and I put one and a half inches. So um, a couple people went to make it and said 
they cut it at one and a half and it didn't come out right because I, you know, I was really tired last time, so I apologize. I did put a note in the description box right under the video that said edit. Um, it should be one and a quarter. And when I cut it and showed you guys how to cut it, I did cut it at one and a quarter, but um, when I put the measurements down here, I put one and a half. So this is one and a quarter right there. So if you guys go to make this card, make sure you cut one and a quarter. So sorry about that. Um, if any of you guys ruined your cards, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so um, <clears throat> five and a quarter by four white for the inside. Um, five by three and three quarters for the designer paper. And like I said, if you want to just cut yours the same size as the um, this piece right here, this piece is um, five and a quarter by four. I didn't put that, but that's how big I cut mine. So it's the same size as the inside. So you can cut that the same if you want to, but I always cut it just a little bit smaller. Then this piece is for the inside, um, three quarters by five. And that's the designer paper. So all these little scraps are just leftovers that I had that I just used up for the words and for the inside here. And so this is also there. Oh, you know what? I got Happy Mail too and I forgot to even show that. I'll do that in a second. All right, so there's your screenshot for that one. Oops. I think am I too high here? There we go. Um, let's remove summer from the seasons. <laughs> I know, I wish we could have just stayed spring the whole entire year, except I know some people have swimming pools, so then they want to go swimming and stuff, but um, I'm telling you, if we could just stay like it was in May the whole year, that would have been perfect, because I'd love that weather. I want to be positive and feel that way for everybody. <laughs> All right, did everybody get that? Oh, let me show you my happy mail. So I got this card. Isn't that cute? This is from, oops, who is that from? Paulette Coust Coustier? Coustier? I don't know how you say that. Coustier, I think, Coustier, um, sent me this really cute card in the mail, and she sent me a whole little thing of stamps, which I thought was so sweet, because I mail out so many cards, and um, I was saying how, uh, you know, stamps are so expensive, so that was really sweet. So thank you so much for sending me some stamps, because that was really, really nice little gift. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And also, don't forget, we got the Designer Series paper sale still going on. We've got one more week left of that. I know. Look at all those stamps. So I can mail out 20 more cards out of those stamps. And um, I think, yeah, I've sent... Actually, wait a minute. I've got two cards left from the other day that haven't been claimed yet. So... Um, Couple people haven't claimed their cards. <laughs> and that was from the comments, I think, that were after the video. I mean, um, not after the, yeah, the ones that are like in the regular comment section, not the live part. Um, let's see. Wait. Oh, have to have summer for my garden and canning. I know. All my friends are having like all these awesome garden. You know, all their, my friend Michelle, the one I showed you the card, um, she brought cucumbers and squash and stuff yesterday because we had a potluck lunch and stuff to celebrate my friend Colleen. Some of you guys um, watch her channel, my friend Colleen Magnus. It was her birthday, so we were celebrating her birthday yesterday, so we had a potluck lunch, and um, so we all brought stuff. So I made these lemon bars, which I think I've told you about. They're like ooey-gooey butter bars and then I put lemon extract in them so they're like they're Paula Deen's butter ooey gooey butter bars and then I just add the lemon extract but they're so good but that's her favorite so I made those all right so all we're gonna do is basically put this together the only thing we have to stamp is the words so this is super easy 
and we're going to sponge a little bit. So let me grab a scrap paper. So we're going to sponge the, whoops, there's Debbie Spice Girl's address. We're going to sponge the, um, this part right here and stamp the words. So we're using the same words on every single one just to make it easy. <laughs> I was like, we're going to make it easy today. All right, so there we go. And then I like to dip my words. So, oops, you guys can't see that. So I'm dipping, dipping, dipping all the way around just to make the edges blue because I love that look. And then I'm going to sponge. So I'm tapping in here, but I want to tap most of that color off because I just want it really, really light. So I'm just going to sponge a little bit of blue on here for the sky. So it's really, really light. Oh, darn it. Didn't mean to bend it. So we had a really good time stamping. And then, um, well then last night we all went to my friend Sandy's memorial, which was it was kind of sad, but kind of happy too. It was really, um, that was my friend. She passed away from cancer and her memorials last night. And she was just like the sweetest person I've ever met in my entire life. But you know, her, um, she had moved to Missouri and her whole family came back to do the memorial here because she lived here for 20 years. So, you know, she had a whole lot of friends here. And um, so they had a special memorial service here. And, um, you know, her, every, her husband did the eulogy and, um, each of her kids got up and spoke and, you know, they, did, they all told like a funny story about her and, you know, and, but, and then they told like a bunch of other things, but uh, it was just, it was probably one of the most beautiful services I've ever been to. It, it was just really awesome. But she, she was just really one of the most wonderful people I've ever known. And I know some of you guys watching knew her. She was just amazing, but there's a lot of people there. So anyway, I hope when I die, I have a service like that. <laughs> and people say such wonderful things about me. But she is a true testament about faith in, in, in the Lord, that is for sure. All right, so we've got just the pale blue on there. So if you want to put more, you can, but I think that looks pretty good. Maybe just a teeny bit more. Okay. All right, so on the inside, the only thing that I did was just put the scrap that I had left from cutting the front. So we're just going to put that down. And, and put that on here. So I think I told you guys my lawnmower broke a little while back, you know, like, I don't know, a month ago. So I decided to put it on the Facebook marketplace today. And I don't know why I was not thinking, you know, about buying video tonight. So about, I put it on there maybe like, I don't know, four o'clock. So about five o'clock, I started getting like ding, 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 ding. All these people were texting me like, is it available? Is it available? Can I come get it? Can I come get it? So <laughs> I was like, dang. <laughs> you know, I thought I put it at a pretty, you know, regular price, but I guess it was like too cheap or something. I don't know, because like everybody wanted it. And all these people wanted to come pick it up tonight. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm really not going to be available until about eight o'clock. And, you know, I kept saying that and people are like, well, I, I, can I come at seven? Uh, can I come at 630? I'm like, no, <laughs> I won't be available. I won't be available until eight o'clock. And they just kept saying, like, I'd say it and people would just keep asking me. I'm like, no, <laughs> I can't answer the door. 
we were talking about that. I was one of my friends and I were talking about that. So I've got like three people who are waiting when I finish that want to come. So hopefully I'll get rid of it tonight. Um, all right, so this one, let me see. This is the one that was the hardest one to line up because I wanted to get this little tree, like this little tree I wanted to get in that little space right there. And then that little tree I wanted in that little space. So I think, now see how crooked that is on the back to get that lined up like that. I don't know, let me see if I can do it better. I think if I do it right at the bottom, it'll come out pretty good. Yep. All right, so let's see if I just put a little bit right there and line that up like that. Let's see if that... Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so then let me let that dry for a second, and then I can just lift it up and put the the glue in here. Oops. Um, what was I just saying? Now I forgot. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I was talking to one of my girlfriends. So, um, you know, we're talking about people ringing the doorbell and stuff. And I'm always worried about that. People are gonna ring the doorbell when I'm doing these live videos and you know, I won't be able to answer the door. And so she works for Capital One and she says she has like all these signs on her door and cause she's like on the phone with people all day long and she works from home. And she says she just can't answer the door because she's talking to, you know, she's customer service for Capital One and she can't answer the door. And she says she's got like no soliciting, you know, I work from home, don't ring the doorbell. Um, you know, I'm sleeping, you know, all these different signs. So people won't ring the doorbell, but still people will ring the doorbell and they'll just bang on the door. And she so she has to get up and go get it. And uh, she's like, <laughs> so now she put a sign up and she says, if I have to get up and answer the door, um, I'm gonna shoot you. And so <laughs> she got a water gun. <laughs> filled it with water and so now if she answers the door and it's like a salesperson she says um she's gonna open the door with the water gun and shoot them <laughs> with the water I said that's pretty good so she said only one person has done it so far and she said when she opened the door with the water gun they took off running I start laughing all right so well, I don't think I sponged that enough now it looks too white looks too white now compared to the I have a funny joke for you I saw there's this guy on um YouTube I can't think of what his name is but he's like from Texas and he, he all he does is tell jokes and so if you're just like scrolling through watching the um shorts he just if I don't know why. It's funny because, like, if you stop and watch a short, then they just start showing you the same person over and over. So I watched a couple of his jokes the other day, and so now it just shows me his jokes all the time, and he's really funny. And he's got a real, like, southern accent, and he tells these funny jokes. So since he's telling them, they're not written, so I had to write this joke down, and uh, I couldn't take a screenshot or anything of it. All right, so this is going to go on with dimensionals. And since I'm going to spray it, I'm going to put extra dimensionals so it doesn't curl up on here. And stick that down. So see how easy this card is? Like super easy. And that's just going to go right in the corner. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could add stuff like you could put ribbon or, you know, gems or something. And then I'm going to spritz that with some shimmer. And I thought what would be pretty too is taking like a boho blue Stampin' Blend and just like sprinkling it on there and making little sp um, spritzes like that too. But I forgot to grab one. All right, so that's the first one. So that's really pretty, I love it. 
All right, so the next one is another blue one. This is my favorite one. This one right here. So this one, we need kind of the similar things. So you need a five and a half by eight and a half boho blue. And then another white, five and a quarter by four white. Thank you, the water gun, you like that? <laughs> yeah, she did, she did you. Um, why don't I have a Southern accent? Cause I don't know, cause Virginia's kind of like in the middle of the, some people from Virginia do have a Southern accent, but I don't know, I don't have one. I don't think I do. Um, so this one is five and a quarter by four, same as the, the white one. Um, I don't know why I didn't put that, but that's what you're supposed to cut that at. And then same same one as last time, one by two and a quarter for that one. And then this strip is three quarters by five and a quarter. And this is just an extra piece that was left over when I cut this bottom part off. And that OHOS is one horse open sleigh. I didn't have room to write it down there, so <laughs> I abbreviate it. <laughs> so we're just gonna abbreviate that. So there you go, get a screenshot of that. Beautiful card, thank you, Denise, kitty cat. Maybe a dauber and white pigment ink or splatter glue and white embossing powder, yeah. I just saw, um, do any of you watch Jennifer McGuire? I haven't watched her in a long time, but um, she posted a really good video today on embossing and I said, oh, I could do that in a video, so I'm gonna try it. Um, maybe do that next week. All right, so hopefully, oh, love her. Yeah, she's she's got some awesome stuff. She has 450,000 subscribers. So she has been on for a long time. It's the darker blue Misty Moonlight. Oh, yes, this is Misty Moonlight, sorry. Yep, that's Misty Moonlight. And that's five and a quarter by four, sorry. I forgot to put that. Is there any way to add snow to the trees? Um, you know, you could probably take some white craft ink and um, either use a sponge dauber or um, a water color um, water painter and like splatter it on there. Yeah, that's what I'm... Oh, Lucy already said that. <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah, puff paint. Oh, do we have puff paint? I don't know if we have puff paint anymore. Yes, Darlene, this is live. It retired. Yeah, the puff paint retired. Snowy accents. Um, and I love it in the blue. I know, because you know what? Usually, um, a lot of people do this always in the black. The the grassy grove um, dye. A lot of people do it in black, and so I liked it in the blue. I thought that was really pretty. All right, so we'll take all these off. And again, all we have to do, so this piece goes here on the inside. And like I said, this was just taken right off the bottom of this part. So we're just gonna glue that down on the inside. And I did cut a little deer out for the inside too. So this one, I think the grass is going this way. I made this smoothie for breakfast this morning. I thought it'd be healthy today. So I made a smoothie and um, it was a protein shake smoothie. So it's vanilla protein shake and then I put some strawberries and a mango and blueberries in it. It was really good. So I was healthy. Then I had some cottage cheese for lunch after I mowed the grass and worked in the yard for like three hours. And, uh, and that was pretty much it for today. I kind of um, wasn't really hungry today. I don't know, cause I guess because I was so hot. I didn't really feel like eating. So maybe I'll lose a pound or two today. I didn't have any ice cream today. Can you believe it? Actually, I didn't have any yesterday either. That's pretty good. All right, so there's the, oh, whoops, I forgot. I got a little deer to go in there. Isn't that cute? So that's in that, the die set. So I'll put just a little bit of glue on here. 
Oops. I think this is a snobby deer because it looks like his nose is up in the air. <laughs> it looks like he's just sticking his nose up in the air like he's snobby. <laughs> I don't know. I just, doesn't it look like that? I don't know. All right. Whoops. And this one, this one does is not, it doesn't have to be so picky. So this one's going to kind of go right um, there. As long as you get that little fence and the tree in there, it doesn't matter. So we don't have to be so picky about where it goes. But I am going to stick it closer to the top just because I've got um, a lot more space at the bottom, whereas the top, it needs to be right there. I cut that really close to the top, didn't I? Ooh, I need to get it really close to the top here. Let me take that back off and put it way up at the top. Or it is gonna be showing. All right, so this one, yeah, we gotta put it right there. Okay, all right, so let's get the glue on here. Wow, I almost like didn't get that whole thing on the, it's like right on the edge. I was trying to get more room down at the bottom so my words didn't cover up mu much of anything. So just try to get your glue like on those trees a little bit so they're not poking, poking up once you spray it, oops. Oops, my paper's showing a little bit. I think I put it too high. Uh-oh. I have to shove this up here just a little bit. Okay. All right, and then the words is the only thing we have to stamp. So that is, that's going to be a Misty Moonlight. And same words. And then we're gonna dip that again. Dip it. I love doing this. <laughs> I just think it's like so pretty when you put that ink right on the edge. Just looks so pretty. All right, and dimensionals on the back of that one. I was looking through the catalog. You know, we had that free shipping sale the other day. I'm like, okay, is there anything that I really want that I haven't gotten? And uh, I don't know, I just was like, I found just three or four stamp sets that I didn't even notice before. And I'm like, how can I look through this catalog 500 times and, and not notice certain stamp sets in there? And then um, my friend Colleen, she did this card yesterday and she used this stamp set. Um, oh, what's was called? Um, it's Rachel Tessman's uh stamp set. It was the le something leaves and it had this punch and I'm like, where did that punch come from? <laughs> I said, I've never seen that punch before. And, and she's like, uh, it's in the catalog. And I said, really? I said, I don't think I've noticed it. Sure enough, it's in there. And I said, I know I don't have that punch. And I came home, darn if I didn't have that punch still in the wrapper. I said, I don't even remember ordering that. All right, so this one really shows up the sparkles because it's dark. I love that. This is my favorite one. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's see. I wanted to order something for free shipping. But I had everything I wanted. Got some photos of a rainbow. Oh, nice. Love the cards. Got to get back on the road. Oh. Oh, Jody, did you already move? You already moved, didn't you? Is it the kind with sweetened condensed milk and whipping cream? What are you making? Homemade ice cream. Oh, that sounds really good. Raspberry cheesecake ice cream. Oh, 
Actually, I have some Tillamook ice cream that's raspberry. No, it's white. Yeah, white chocolate raspberry in the freezer. And that, I haven't opened it yet, but it is good because I've had it before. All right, so here we go with the last one. So for this one, we need five and a half by eight and a half copper clay, um, five and a quarter by four white for the inside, um, five by three and three quarters of the designer paper, the one horse open sleigh, and here's our little scrap for the inside, five and a quarter by three quarters. The scrap for the words, one by two and a quarter. And then here's another one that I did with the dryer sheet. So watch how easy this comes off when you peel it. So all the pieces just stick on there. Isn't that cool? I love it. So there's our piece. This is crumb cake. So crumb cake. And this is um, five and a quarter by four, same as the white. And I've got just like one piece in here. So there you go. We're going to be sponging that too. So take a screenshot of that. Oh, got us photos of the rainbow. Driving back to Texas. Oh, that's a long drive. Oh, that's funny. The guy who I was telling you about, the, the guy from Texas was telling a joke about Texas today and how hot it was. And I can't remember what it was, but it was something about these two guys from Texas um, died and they went to hell. And and <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but <laughs> they were <laughs> they were saying like it wasn't that hot. So the devil was getting mad and he turned he turned the thermostat all the way up and the guys were down there and they're cooking on the barbecue saying that it wasn't that hot, nearly as hot as it was in Texas. And I can't remember the rest of it, but it was, it was funny. And so the devil was just getting mad. I'll have to go back and watch it so I can remember. Oh, <laughs> uh, eat a whole bowl. I can't believe you got to drive all the way back to Texas. That's a long drive. You couldn't have got everything, like do a mover and get it all in one trip. 107 degrees. Woo -hoo -hoo, that's hot. I think we got 88 or 89 today. It was pretty hot. Really hot when you're not used to it yet. All right. And I had to wait to mow the grass till like 11 because we had had so much rain. I had to wait for it to dry out because it was still pretty wet. All right. So this one for the inside just goes down here at the bottom. And, oh, I should have done that side because that would be darker. Oh, well. Too late now. Too late now. So, oops. Mm, I can't tell which way this goes. I think it goes this way. Hopefully it does. Okay. It's a sliver too big. So I've got um, classes coming up this week and I'm doing a framed art class. So um, I will do that for you guys after my classes are done. And um, it's actually two different ones. One's a small one and one's a big one. And the small one um, is really pretty. Well, they're both really pretty, but um, the small one is really cute. And the big one I'm not quite finished with, but it's using the earthen earthen elegance and it's actually using like three or four different stamp sets but I've got two more pieces it's got like one two three four five six pieces six sections to it and I've got two more to go so hopefully I'll be done with that soon because I gotta I gotta work all day tomorrow so I'm gonna work on a little bit more tonight all right, so this one we can just do like right in the middle. That's a nice little wood piece right there on the back. Oh, can we put it a little bit closer to the top. All right, so this piece I want to sponge with our copper clay ink pad, and this one is super dark, so we got to... I'm gonna do the words real quick. I don't have my cleaner, so we're just gonna 
stamp off. All right, so we're gonna stamp right here. I think I just did that crooked. Oh, just a little bit. And then dip it. Oh, wow. This is a juicy pad. That soaked right up in there. <laughs> okay, so we got a little bit too juicy on there. All right, and then we're gonna sponge this so we don't want a lot of ink. And I don't wanna like sponge it, sponge it. So this is what I did. I kind of just tapped it like instead of sponging it and because I didn't want it to look like sponged like uniformly I just kind of wanted it to make it look like just a little bit of color all over and not smooth texture does that make sense I kind of wanted it to look like there's some leaves in there I just want it really light. But not uniform. So that it looks more like there's some leaves just laying around instead of like just smooth color. I kind of wish I just had like a really soft looking stamp that I could do on here, but. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we just kind of have it a little bit blotchy on there. So this is not the normal way you do your blending brush, but I didn't want it to look smooth. I wanted it to look kind of splattery, like it's little leaves or something instead of just color. All right, so there's that. And I wanted it to be the same color as that fox. So that's why I picked that color. All right, so then we're gonna put that on the front. Move this out of the way. So you guys have gotten a lot of um, extra card ideas. So you got three on the last video and three on this video. So hopefully um, you get some ideas. So even if you don't have um, this paper yet, you could pick the um, the countryside in paper like my friend Michelle did or a different paper. If you have the old paper that we used to have like, um, oh, what was that really pretty paper we used to have? The, the one with the... Um, What was the one from last year that discontinued that I loved so much with the trees and the snow and the um, the cabin? What was the name of that one? If you still have that one, that would be perfect for this one too. Anybody remember that? No, it wasn't New Horizons. It was like, um, oh, it was the prettiest paper. I was so upset when they discontinued that and kept the squirrels. Remember? It was like, I want to say Silent Night or something, but it wasn't that. It was something night, I think. Peaceful Cabin. That's what it was. Peaceful Cabin. Yeah, if you have Peaceful Cabin, that would be pretty with this. Or um, that other paper we had um, with the scenery on it. What was that one? Oh yeah, that was on the horizon. Yeah, if you have on the horizon or, or new horizon um, or peaceful cabin, either one of those would really go good with this die cut. Um, oops, I just, there we go. And don't limit it to black because I you know it seems like it's always black as the um, frame for this, but I think it looks good in just about any color. So, oops. So try it with different colors that match your focal point instead of just black. 
and see how it looks. And also try like sponging and stuff, see how it looks. So come out with some different stuff. I tried splattering too. Um, has anyone noticed Toyota and GMC have vehicles in soft succulent crumb cake and azure? Uh uh, I have not. I keep seeing all these um, videos for this one car, and I think it's like a fake commercial, but it shows this one car that's like a Dodge something. I think it's a Dodge Trax or something, and it shows basically it's like practically flying. I don't know if it really can do that. I think the commercial is fake, like uh, computer animation or whatever, but I keep showing it like shows up at a stoplight next to somebody and then the stoplight turns green and it just basically like practically flies off of the um, ground. I don't know. All right, so there you go. So we've got those two those two and these two so lots of cards what do you think seen the soft succulent i have not seen soft succulent i really missed that color though because that was one of my favorite colors last year use black as silhouette i know i used to always use black every time i did this um dye i always did it in black and i never even thought about doing it with colors but when my friend Michelle did it in blue, I was like, I love it in blue, that's so pretty. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna have to do it in blue. So, thank you guys. All right, so I got a joke for you and zucchini. I really miss having a garden. I used to have the greatest garden and now I can't because I have such a shady backyard and nothing will grow. Peaceful place, designer paper. Is that the one that went with the uh, peaceful cabin? Yeah, the whatever paper went with the peaceful cabin is the one I was talking about. Um, thank you guys. Used in the shadow box. Yes, I think I did a shadow. Yeah, I think I did a frame dart with that. Yeah, I'm almost positive I did. All right, don't forget if you want to order anything, there's the host code. Uh, make sure you use that host code if you want to get a card kit in the mail. Um, I'm still having people not use that, so make sure you put your host code on there and if your order is $50 or more. And um, if you, oh, here's the card for the card kit. I forgot to show that tonight. So this is the card for the card kit. You'll get three sets of these if your order is $50 or more. And if your order is $100 or more, you'll also get these gems to go with it. And also we've got the designer paper sale and the starter kit special. So you get um, an extra $56 in free product if you sign up to join this month. All right, let me tell you the joke. So I'm gonna have to read it um, from my little sticky notes. I've got it on like six sticky notes. I had to write it down. Hold on, let me, let me read it to you. It's really funny though. I actually have two. All right, and this one's funny. All right, a man comes home from the doctor and tells his wife he only has 24 hours to live. So she starts crying and, and, and he starts thinking, hey honey, <laughs> Do you think we could have sex to get my mind off of it? <laughs> she says, well, okay. So about six hours goes by and he says, hey, honey, I only have 18 hours left. You think we could go ahead, go ahead and do it some more? <laughs> she says, well, okay. <laughs> so I can't even get through this. So then about six hours later, she's sound asleep. And he taps her on the shoulder and says, Hey, honey, I only got about 12 hours left to live. Do you think we could go do it again? And she's really tired. And she's like, oh, my gosh. All right. So she agreed. Well, about six hours later, he, says, he taps her on the shoulder again. And she's still sound asleep. And before he could even get a word out, she says, no. And she says a cuss word, so I'm just going to say, dang it. She say, he says, well, why not? And she says, because I have to get up in the morning and you don't.
<laughs> okay, I got another one that's really, it's a, it's a quickie. All right, so man goes to the doctor and, um, the doctor comes in and he says, well, he goes, I have bad news and I have really bad news. And the man goes, what? And he goes, well, okay. He said, what's the bad news? And he said, well, you only have 24 hours left to live. And the guy goes, what? And he goes, what's the really bad news? And he goes, I meant to tell you yesterday. <laughs> so you got a two for tonight. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> oh, you love it when I crack up. <laughs> well, you can remember the short one. The short one's funny one that you can remember to tell. But the long one, I had to write that down because I couldn't remember it. <laughs> but it was so... And I had to watch it like 10 times to write it all down because I kept forgetting. So I had to keep watching it over and over and over. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and um, I will see you back on Tuesday night for another video. So bad. I know it. <laughs> oh, your husband's laughing. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. And don't forget, if you want to order, there's a host code. Um, and... Take care, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.